I am. I've had a period of bad dates. And I'm gonna ask you about your last best da- bad date. Uh huh. But let me tell you about mine real quick, right? Okay. And this and this made it even worse because I talked to somebody, right? And the person I talked to, he cool. You know what I'm saying? I tell him about other things I do, right? Mm-hmm. And so I was like, "Do you know this dude?" He's like, "Yeah." And I was like, "What about him?" He's like, uh, "I ain't heard good things." And I was like, "What about it?" You know, I'm like, "What if he's slapping bitches?" He's like, "Yeah." Damn. <laughs> I like oh he look a, you know he look a little you know you you know my next question right what and you still went <laughs> so okay <laughs> so here's the thing right mm. he never really just said what what it was but he was like he be fighting or something like that and I was like oh and he's like yeah but it was a long time ago and he's like you know you never know maybe he's different. So she thought it was like some rich boy shit where like he slapped like his mama or something? No, nah, no, nah, I know he slapped bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, you know, maybe he, you know, maybe, maybe that was a young thing, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's evolved from oh, that, you okay. know what I'm saying? Maybe so he like DV like 10 years ago. Okay, when you say it like that, then I, I, I'm not saying that, but you know, I just like maybe it was a tussle, like y'all both was arguing and fighting oh, okay. and stuff like that, right? Mm hmm. So at first I was like, no, nah, I'm okay then. Cause I, you know, red flags, don't do it. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. But then like he kept asking me to go out, asked me to go out. So I was like, all right, ain't no harm in us like meeting up. You know what I'm saying? In public. In, in a, yeah. <laughs> in a safe place. No, well, y'all well, meet him at racetrack. Well lit. <laughs> meet in front of the police trip. In front of the police station. <laughs> Be the thing at the police station. Oh yeah, brightly lit lights <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of lights is playing everything. <laughs> Bro, not at the damn police station. No, but like he kept wanting to meet like, like in Arlington. You know, that's like a thirty minute drive. Yeah. He kept wanting to meet far out. I'm just like, bruh, like we can't meet closer or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we go out that night, right, to some hookah lounge, or whatever. And he already told me like he's like, you know, I want to take you out with my, my money a little. I was like. Say less, you know what I'm saying? D- don't tell me your nails, right? Who I'm just don't hearing th- just, <laughs> one, just I just hear one thing after another. Oh, <gasps> uh, why? Continue. <laughs> so I get there and I text him. I was like, "Hey, I'm here." And no response. Mm-hmm. So I'm in a car for like 15 minutes. I'm smoking. You know, the town just passed me by. I ain't really worried about it. So. Right. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go in. Like, what's up? He's like, okay, I'm almost there. He's like, I'll be there in 20 minutes. At this point, I'm like, almost. Okay. Nigga, you just left wherever wherever you came from you, is you, probably 25 just, minutes. Yeah, you just leaving. And he had a motorcycle. So I didn't want to like. <laughs> you didn't want him texting and driving. Hell no. Cause texting, you know, and ri- texting and riding. Yeah, I already had, you know, motorcycles. <laughs> no. Right. So, so I was like, call, you call me back. So I go inside, give me a drink. Girl, I didn't talk to two other niggas that was in there because I'll wait on this nigga. 30 minutes go by. Oh, you was afraid that he was going to come in and see you with them niggas and get to tussling? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't want to, no, like, I don't do the game like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to be talking to somebody and then he walk in. He's like, no. Hey, no. So I, I was like, I'm Should have been late, partner. I'm waiting on, Right. So then he walk in, girl, and I literally I was gonna like I was like I'm gonna just finish my drink because I order, by the time I ordered a drink I was like that's probably part of his plan for me to come in here and order me a drink. Oh, so he ain't got to pay. So for he ain't got to pay for one. Oh, I would have left. I was thinking, but I want I'm gonna finish my drink though. I pay for it. Mm-hmm. So he walk in, he like, hey stranger, and I, at this point I'm pissed off, and I was like, hey red flag, <laughs> hi. So then he get there, he's like, so look. Um, I don't know what to tell. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. I gotta go take care of some business, and I was like, "You got here late and want to leave early. Want to leave early? You want to leave before me? Boy, niggas apply the same rationale to work to dating, don't they? I'm like, bet. So he he buys some shots and we walk outside, right? And I was like, so what? Like what? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I have questions. Okay. Was there food involved at this place y'all went to? It was late. I they had they I'm sure they had food, but I wasn't at that point I was ready to go. Okay. At that point I was ready yeah, at that point I was ready to go. Girl, shit. I, he made me order my <laughs> I ordered a drink. <laughs> I didn't think So did he pay for anything? He paid for a shot. He paid for the shots. One round. Listen, okay. So we got outside and I was just like, 
Bro, I was like, you literally have been asking me for on this date for like forever. And I finally come and then you tell you gotta leave. And he's like, Well, I mean, I could have not came. I said Same. You know what? I said, you right. I said, here's your shot. Nigga just took the shot. Didn't even be like, you sure you don't <laughs> He didn't say like you sure you don't want it or nothing. He was like, and I was like, and I just got, I was like, you know what? You have a great night. Oh, he finna get ready to fight. You enjoy yourself. Uh, be safe to wherever you're going. And hit you. Or not. Peace. And I left. I left. Now, I'm thinking if you leave, that means, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to contact each other no more, baby. Facts, I'm we're good. Done. You know this nigga wrote me two days later talking about he went to jail? <laughs> he hit you with the, you'll never believe what happened. Hell yeah. I believe it. <laughs> Yeah, like I believe it. Yeah, that that one. They like, should have kept you. <laughs> so I didn't respond, <laughs> and he wrote, "Damn." <laughs> so I, I didn't respond to that. <laughs> so then he called, <laughs> and it's my fault. He called. He said, "Damn." He said, "Damn." damn. <laughs> he called me, and I answered. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. Probably, probably because I just wanted to hear what he was gonna say. Title this episode of why. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would Why would you not respond to a message, but you answer his call? I just wanted to hear him one more time. See what he's gonna say. <laughs> you want to hear the lies? Hell yeah! So he was like, "Dang, what happened?" And I was like, "What's up?" He like, I, I wrote you, and I was like, I'm aware. And he was like, oh, you don't care? And I was like, I mean. Nigga, why would I care that really? a nigga who I went on, is that Half a day? No, a meet. <laughs> it was meet and greet. A link? I would have had more time on Chris Brown <laughs> if I bought the pass. <laughs> it was a, like, I don't even know what you call that. At least Chris Brown let you get on his back. Hell yeah, and take a picture and, <laughs> and fuck him. <laughs> Put a pic, <laughs> shit, I didn't even get that. And he was like, I mean, you didn't even ask what happened to me, why I had to leave the day early. And I was like, I mean, if you wanted to tell me, you, you would have. Oh, you going to. I was like, oh, boy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I be like, there he go. There go that DV. He started raising his voice. There go I, that DV. I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, we're not going to do this. Mm -mm. And he's like, oh, you really are a cold hearted bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck nigga. Hell yeah. I'm like a cold hearted Real. bitch. I would have been, I got an ice box where my heart <laughs> used to be. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold. What what did uh what did uh Sheree say on uh Atlanta? I don't know. She was like old and cold. <laughs> old and cold. Bro, he called me a a a cold hearted bitch and I hung the phone. Because you don't care that a nigga you don't know went to jail. Went to jail. And I don't even think he went to jail, honestly. And you I don't think he went to jail either. <laughs> but honestly, if he did, if he did, it, it you probably deserved it. Hell yeah, you probably deserved it. I'm sure you didn't go to jail for nothing. That's what I'm saying. I don't I don't think that type of nigga who go to jail and bond out. I said if he went to jail, he, no bond. <laughs> Zero. That's the, that's that type of nigga. They got warrants, yeah, tickets. Hell, or it's a non bondable offense. Girl. Yeah, and and then he said, uh, shit sad. You're going to be old. And before, and then by that point, he blocked me. You know, this, this is something I've never understood. Crazy shit. Like, <gasps> men literally will sit there and throw in your face like, oh, you're such and such age and mm -hmm, still single. Mm -hmm. Fuck nigga, both of us are. Okay, you are too. We're, are we not trying? Are we not both? Unless are you polygamous and hiding it from me? Girl, I wouldn't have been surprised with that either. Like, that is, <sighs> bruh, bruh. It's very wicked out here. It's very <laughs> wicked. And I and you know, and I was just like, dang. Like I seen all these red flags. All still, of them. You thought it was six flags? No, but I was like, I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna go on a date. Yeah, because I, I want to see if he's, if you know, he might be different. He might have changed. It ain't take much. Now imagine if you was like in a relationship with that dude. Now just if, let's say this whole time he was just playing it real cool. That nigga was Tick cool as a cucumber. Go what? What if he was just, he been playing it cool. Mm -hmm. Y'all, the date went perfect, everything. Mm -hmm. You decide to get in a relationship with this nigga. And imagine like y'all get into an argument. Hell yeah. Like what that nigga would do. 
Oh, nah. Because if he raising his voice over you not responding to a mm-hmm, message, mm-hmm. he want to call you out your name, mm-hmm. nigga, you're capable of anything. Yeah, and it was, it was, and it was like I was like, you, I knew better when the nigga was like, "Why you not answering your phone?" But I thought I was like, "Oh, I'm thinking he's trying to be funny." It was no joke, and I was like, "Oh, you know what?" Noted. Nope. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. But yeah, that was, that was my last bad date. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. I have one horror story that you know about, but I don't feel too comfortable talking about that on here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. But I did have a similar situation to you where, like, I had went out with this guy, and um, he was, like, he really wanted for me to, like, go to his house. Mm-hmm. And he was, like, he picked this place that was super far out. I remember that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and I'm like, okay, I'm already peeping game. I was just like, okay, whatever. Get there. He wants me to like drink. I'm like, yeah, no, I gotta drive. He's like, oh, I live around the corner from here. I was like, yeah, I know, I know that's why you picked here. Mm-hmm. I was like, but I'm not coming to your house. Mm-hmm. And so, finished the date. Didn't go to his house. Mm-hmm. I think like a day or two later, he's like, um, I had told he had said something to me, and I was just like, yeah, you know, this doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Like. Let's just end this. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you old fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, don't nobody want your ass. And I was just like, the same nigga who was begging? Hell yeah. The same nigga who was begging? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I, I Why is it that the ones who beg you for your time be the one that want to waste it the most girl they want to waste it and then whenever they don't get your time or they don't get the answers that they want to hear from you mm-hmm. now here come all the name calling Hell and all yeah. that shit fat, like fat black fat, you're fat you're single. ugly <laughs> you're black you're a woman <laughs> <laughs> you're single you gonna forever be single, nigga. Don't yeah. ever get it fucked up just because I'm not married. I that, that don't mean niggas ain't around. Okay, that don't mean I'm lonely. Promise. Like that. Like single don't mean lonely or I alone. Promise ever, and it <sighs> never has. That be the thing. That be the on, on the comments too. They probably they probably single and and bitter and they gonna be like nah, far from bitter. Right? Don't be projecting your shit on me, girl. But you know what? Honestly and truthfully, that's just mm-hmm. people. Facts. What did uh, Cortez say? People gonna be people. Hell yeah, people gonna people. Human beings gonna be human <laughs> beings. Oh, facts. All right, well, you got your song. I should do, child. Let me hear me Okay, let me hear it. Okay. If your baby daddy left you, <laughs> raise your kids on your own. Oh. oh, shit. That's my little sister. No. Hey, Trini, I'm recording. I'm going to call you back. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, back to regularly scheduled programming. Mm-hmm. If your baby daddy left you, mm-hmm. raise your kids on your own, and you need a real nigga, put my number in your phone. If you never left the city, never been out of blank, I can be that thug genie. Give your three little wishes. She a stone cold freak. <laughs> I thought this was chopper style at first, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> she can get a nigga right. She can cook. She can clean. Know how to treat a nigga right. That's a blank. Red bone, so thick. Long hair, don't care. Darion outfit. Oh, this should age you. Not the Darion. <laughs> Go to church every Sunday. She a teacher at the school. You did it big last night. Damn. I had a drunker than a fool. Fuck. <laughs> Say she had to call in. She couldn't even go to work. Told her come and let me put a couple hundreds in her purse. Isn't she Yang twins? No. Fuck. You went to school to be a nurse. She's an AKA. Shotty fresh up out the hood, but went to Tennessee State. I know this. And Fran just is fine. I swear to God, I ain't lying. She a Delta. She be throwing that dynasty sign. Is Kanye? No. <laughs> I pay for both of their tuition, pay for both of their beautician. I don't know. Coogee this, BB that. 
and she loved true religion. I don't know it. That's a five star chick because her future's so bright. She got a cool sense of humor and an attitude, right? Oh, is this your daddy? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, I didn't get to you said five star chick. Wow. Wow. Dairy, Dairy, what Darion outfit? Did you ever own Darion? Uh, a purse. Did you ever own Apple Bottoms? Here's the thing. <laughs> um, my parents weren't buying no shit like that. So anything at the bottom dairy I had, I had to buy it. So I was buying it, like it was a purse. That's what I could afford. Remember we got a uh, Man Alive? What's it called? Was it called Man Alive? I think so. Yeah, yeah Man Alive. And there was another one too. Uh, I want to say Urban Outfitters, but that ain't it. Nah, <laughs> that ain't it. Nah, hell no, nah, that ain't nothing but a, a boho boohoo chic in there. Hell yeah. Uh, under, underground station. Underground station. Hell yeah. Yes. Hell Yo, yeah. They sell all the urban wear. AKA nigga clothes. Hell yeah. Nigga garments. Hell yeah. You go, you go in there and give me a, a ooh, a Darion purse or F bottom purse, belt, some a coup. I ain't gonna lie. Like maybe five, six months ago, mm -hmm. I went into Marshall's mm -hmm. and they had some F bottom perfume. Mm hmm. Big ass bottles, um, yeah. Sixteen ounce, eight dollars. <laughs> I smell good. <laughs> Did you get it? Yes, okay. I bought it. Ap Miss Apple Bottom, girl. Last all day, every girl. I used the shit out of that damn Apple Bottom perfume. Boots with the spurs. Come on, I fucks with it. Yeah, no, that that was a that was an era. Okay. Uh, handsome, get down. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. it's a lot of shit in here. Okay. That's a lot of shit. They get an ice cream and put in work. What? What? <laughs> then <laughs> then get an ice cream and put in work. Go to the kitchen for a little dessert. I love butter pecan ice cream. Eat cake. But I look off the icing. Bro, I don't know what the fuck that is. Nice thing and relax relaxing. I'm guaranteeing satisfaction. Give you faster, slow back action. Depending on your reaction, girl. Is this Snoop Dogg Central Seduction? No. It's seven in the evening. Everybody's leaving. But I decided to stay in. I just feel like chilling. And I wonder if you felt the same. Just say the word and I'll be on the way. I'm just a Is few this Cole? a few blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. I feel like I know this. You do know this. It it's for us, it's in the same vein as Keisha. I just wanna see Cherish. Wanna see your pretty face. No, it's a nigga saying this shit. All this I like to all I like to do is lay with you tonight. I don't Pretty wanna, Willie. Pretty something. Pretty Ricky. Yes. <laughs> All I got to yeah. do is lay with <laughs> you tonight. <laughs> lay with you, baby. Uh, I don't want to hit the, the club. I, I want to lay up. Get you right. Get you right. Oh. Get you right. Because <laughs> when I go home, I get you right. I will. Get you right. Did you see uh, Pleasure P making a group? By herself? No, with Ray <laughs> J, Bobby Valentino, and Sammy. <laughs> I thought that was a spoof. I think it's called like RSVP or some shit. All right. Hey, best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, all, the, listen? all them wrong niggas that were singing on the verses? Girl. Ooh, R I think it's called RSVP. It's like group name. Sammy. Who? Okay, Ray J. Ray J, Sammy, Valentino, Bobby Valentino, and Pleasure P. Who can, who can sing? Pleasure P can sing. I Sammy Sam, can sing. Okay, two. I think Bobby Valentino did. The worst one was Ray J. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Valentino just sounded like he just needed a little practice. He wasn't terrible. Ray J is who was bad. Did you see Ray J <laughs> where he said, I wish I had been try not trying to be cool. He's like, I was too busy yeah. tapping ass and I could have been tap dancing. <laughs> Bro, Ray J is a troll. <laughs> Ray J, bro, I saw that. I said, Ray, now why the fuck would you say that? 
She and say it with a straight face. But it's probably true though. <laughs> the nigga said I should have been tap. I shouldn't have been tapping ass. Actually, tap I, dancing. Dancing. <laughs> He said, I can really tap dance. <laughs> he said, I just probably should have been tapping a little bit of ass and doing more tap dancing. I was like, what the fuck? He said, thank God I got here. <laughs> Bruh, Ray J's a fucking troll. Bruh. Because even after the verses, like, I had heard, I think he was on Joe Budden that called him or something. Mm-hmm. He answered the phone. He was like, hi, Joe. <laughs> I really let you down yesterday. <laughs> Not Joe Button. I'm so sorry. He said, "Man, Joe, I, I'm 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 about to go practice right now. I, I'm so sorry. I let everybody. I'm like Ray is a fucking troll, fam. Bro. And not to be dismissive, when a nigga was on a bridge, bro, I end it all. I, I was just like Ray drunk. And then Brady was like, "No, bro. <laughs> I was like, why? 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 Now, why was your brother?" And a mental crisis be the first thing you look at is your story. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go to Instagram with this and be shit? Like, damn, Brandy needs Man, me. I can't leave. <laughs> nah, as soon as he about to go, oh, damn, Brandy did say no. B Rocker did say he don't leave. <laughs> hey, wait, they said, hey, wait a minute, ain't that Brandy, brother? <laughs> Right over there dangling his feet over now the side of that bridge. <laughs> now wait a minute. <laughs> Brandy, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, Bruh. boy, Ray ain't nothing but drunk, y'all. <laughs> Hell yeah. He still nigga, need an evaluation now. That nigga don't want to go nowhere. Uh, he needs an evaluation. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Hear, Hear You podcast. podcast. This is Tan. And this is B. You ready to go and get started, bro? Let's go. Hey, let's get it. Ew. All right, see Ray going and starting this week with the shit. Let's go. Okay, so let's start off with let's do a hundred rounds. All right, party next door. Persian rug. Ooh, welcome to the party. Savage anthem. Ooh, break from Toronto. Fam, I I I felt some type of way when Savage anthem came out. Fool, I was like, oh, you doing it like that? Not Kaylani, girl. Not you cheating on Kaylani with strippers and 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 getting your dick sucked and going back and fucking her. Bro, men be big hurt. You ain't got to, like, bitch, why the fuck you, I would be like, I would call, bitch, now why the fuck you say this on the record? Girl, it go hard, though. <laughs> it, do, it do, but, like, you could have said. Anyway. Everything party touches goes hard. Facts, facts. So what's what, what on party? So, you know, we haven't seen party in person in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, So last week, mm-hmm. he actually did a homecoming show, mm-hmm. which, damn, I'm like, fuck, I'm, what, what? My homecoming didn't have nobody like that. Girl, well, in college? I think it's a college homecoming. Girl, shit. It said VSU. Was that Virginia State? I don't know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But a uh, party came out, and it was a different party than what everybody is used to seeing. I was going to say, we had Tay Money at ours, but it was before. It was before. It was Not way Tay before. Money. It was way before TikTok. Because you know she's from East Texas. Girl. So it was way before TikTok. This Tay was, Money be all over downtown. Now. But this was back then. She. <laughs> It was a while ago. So Tay Money it was at the TVCC. Girl. Trinity Valley Community College. You rep your set. <laughs> Juco. <laughs> you know. Wait, what was that little gang sign you threw up? Uh, we didn't have one. Uh, you but just you made know, something up? Just, yeah. You know, son. You know, because, you know, there's nothing wrong with the Juco, okay? Oh, well, absolutely not. My Juco had dorm rooms. And I always tell people, <laughs> I was like, it was like an HBCU. <laughs> A smaller, smaller HBCU. Cause it was no, it was nothing but niggas in there. You know what I'm saying? It was the niggas who got kicked out of. They weren't doing what they supposed to do at the four so years. So it was a HB. CC. CCU. <laughs> HB CCU. Hell yeah. <laughs> but not too, not too much. <laughs> not too much. But out. Okay, yeah, we didn't have nobody at ours either. I mean, but I went to a PWI, mm-hmm. so wreck them. <laughs> That's a prisoner of war. <laughs> prisoner of war. <laughs> Same thing. 
I went to an all white college. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, who did we have? But we had people like uh, you, had, you went to school with famous people though. Yeah, there so. were a few famous people that were there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I remember one year uh, mm-hmm. Chelsea Clinton came. <laughs> I'd rather have Tay Money back then. <laughs> and then we had Finesse <laughs> Mitchell, the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> we had Finesse at the college. <laughs> uh, who else came? You see the kind of things that white people do, though? Chelsea Clinton? I probably wasn't supposed to see Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> Well, they probably were like, we're going to bring Chelsea <laughs> to talk about financial freedom. Is that that's what she was there for? No, I forgot what she was there for. Not that, not that they gave y'all financial literacy class yeah, when I'm coming. Yeah, and they're probably like, and we'll bring finesse for the niggas. <laughs> oh, yeah, you weren't supposed to see Chelsea. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to see Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea was supposed to invite only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea was for that click. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, who else came to tech? Shit. Mm, uh, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> the white dude with the broken nose. <laughs> Girl, this, this is like half a uh, Game of Dra- I mean, Game of Thrones. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Not half a Game of Thrones. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm really bad at white people. It's okay. Like that is like fine bread. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they all look alike. I don't know <laughs> which one. <laughs> I mean, if I could go back, mm-hmm. like, I wish we had done. We probably did do something really fun for Homecoming. I just don't fucking remember the shit. Okay, okay. To be honest with you. Mm-hmm. But I would have loved to have seen Party. Hell yeah. Girl, I love me some Party. Same. So, you know, like I said, he looked a little different than what everybody is used to. Mm-hmm. Um, He was looking a little bit more like, uh, I thought that he was a uh, Sada baby. <laughs> When I first saw the video, yeah. and I didn't know it was party, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, damn. I said, I know you lying. I said, that ain't party. Now, don't get me wrong. We don't fashion around here, and everybody done put on a few pounds. Mm-hmm. But party do look like he went quarantine crazy. I mean, but you know what? And I'm not really mad at I'm, it. I mean, big party. I, I, every time big I, party. Big, big party. <laughs> big. <laughs> he got all of these little parties in the biggest <laughs> one is me. <laughs> I be eating food. <laughs> ah, fail. <laughs> I mean, but like, I I think card, party looks good either I way. Look, good. I, I, look you'll still get ate like a steak hell yeah and we both will eat steaks afterwards like Period. i'm good before or I like he look good to me he look good to me too now the only thing i just like i'm like that like <laughs> someone i had seen someone like damn they not feeding like drake ain't feeding his slaves and i was like bruh or like <laughs> no what oh no it was like what they feeding drake slave and i'm just like bruh Y'all could be so harsh Freedom. as far as as far as like somebody's like Free party, gaining though. weight, losing weight. For real. And you don't know what the, what reasoning is people have for like That's what I'm saying. Either and one. Life happens. Like Hell yeah. life happens. You know what I'm saying? Hell like yeah. whenever I saw it, I was just like, for all we know, like it could be like medical. Or even if it ain't medical, it could just be like it could be, I'm good. I'm having fun. I like good food. But also if you were really a party fan, you would know. Mm-hmm. First of all, Party's been he's been looking a little plush pal on Instagram for over a year now. For over a year. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like well over a year. Mm-hmm. Cause he had posted one picture at like the Super Bowl in the box and I was like, Oh, okay, Party. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in the comments was like, damn, party. And I'm like, y'all. I can only imagine like yeah. how much anxiety that man had coming out there. Mm-hmm. And he looked like he tried to put on some clothes that were, he probably is so self-conscious that he feels like he needs to like cover up. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you can even, this is another thing. You could be so self-conscious about your weight that you could buy bigger clothes to cover up and look bigger. Bigger, hell yeah. And so I'm like, what if it's that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it looked like he had on leather shorts. I'm a little concerned about that. It's still hot. It's still hot and it's it's not 2006. Mm -hmm. I like, I like nostalgia. I I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I, I love me a good leather shorts set and a good M&M brace. I love, ooh, I love, listen, it's three things I like. Leather shorts, a racing jacket, 
Or a shag. I mean, yeah, I, all, I, I, you know what I, all this sounds like? I don't. I don't. DV. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like build domestic violence. <laughs> Leather shorts. Sh- shag. Shag. I love For those of y'all not in the south, <laughs> pause this video right now and Google <laughs> a shag. And then come back and tell me that nigga don't look like he hit women. I look a good shag. I love a good shag. Girl, I would you would date a nigga with a shag in 2022. Recently, mm-hmm. with the caption, 
I named you journey because that's really what it's been. Might not know when you're going through it, but you'll get it at the end. I don't believe you can have faith unless you trust the journey. You have taught me that, so I look at you with understanding and love. Your life assures it will all add up. 10, 10, 20, 20. That's not like, that's not like the niggas going to their child, so they just... <laughs> just saying something? Yeah, yeah. Just, you, I, you don't know what life will lead you. Tell me he's trying to split a 16. Yeah, I mean, but life for you ain't been no crystal step. <laughs> But it's a journey that's worth it. Like, okay, cool. He said, happy birthday, Tanya Jackson. And then tagged the baby. Which I I don't understand people with like their kids having Instagram pages. And your your child's nine months. No, I get it. Because these kids are earning coin. So I definitely get it. Journey Jackson. Y'all want to send Journey Jackson some uh, designs and threads? For like Journey whenever uh, Super did that with Leah? Hell yeah, yeah, I get it. Send, this is her P.O. box. That's I fucking, crazy. I fucking get it. Hell yeah, send us, send us some stuff. That's crazy to me. <laughs> so then, um, Emily's daughter, Taina, commented and said, three laughing emojis. This post is hilarious. Might not know when you're going through it, but you'll get it at the end. Is translation for, I haven't taken care of my daughter in almost a year. Don't even ask about her well-being because I don't care and I'm bitter and I'm the only, I'm only a father to my two beautiful sons who i can manipulate stop playing with the internet damn i don't know if the clip tight this, this is this is my thing mm -hmm. you know emily i'm 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 very happy for you that you finally stood up mm -hmm. stand up <laughs> <laughs> but where was this energy whenever he was fighting your daddy mm. where was this energy when he was fighting you She told him to leave him alone. <laughs> like you, you know, in the get beginning, off of him. You know, in the beginning, you can't really just you gotta wait to see how stuff go first. Wait for what? You gotta wait to see if they go back. You, that, that what that tells me is that ain't the first time. Mm. That tells me ain't the first time before, and they like just, just leave him alone, y'all. She'll leave when she get ready. True. And so that's why ain't nobody said shit because before you know they but said stuff, she ready. They said stuff before, and and then she got to she, then she had to stop talking to them. Yeah, true. Because he, she, she told me he was a hating bitch. Fab told me he was a hating, bitter ass bitch. And I, Fab told me you would say this. Mm -hmm, he said he said my family would turn against me. <laughs> Bro, niggas is wild. That's what I'm fam. saying. That's what that's what it tells me. So now that she's officially done, now everybody unloading the clip. Hmm. That's how I feel. I mean, I get that as well, but at the same time, it's just like it's a little too late and. At least from a social media perspective. Like, at this point, y'all just do whatever it is mm -hmm. that y'all going to do behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. But I also think it has something to do with the fact that, you know, now Fab has been parading around with, like, some white woman. Damn. Okay, maybe she, if she, if she wasn't white, she's just really, really light-skinned. Or, I don't know, but he's been parading around with another woman that ain't Emily. Ain't, em okay. I another one? Okay, cool. He's He's been running around with a woman that ain't Emily. Okay. Uh, uh it, the whole thing's just messy. I don't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I would want for my daughter to hop online and be like, "Yeah, this is translation for mm -hmm. you don't take care of my little sister." I mean, but she, she honestly, Emily is the type that to go back and forth, and she pro like maybe her, maybe her daughter wanted to say something for the longest though. Yeah, true. And she probably don't don't you know how what's his name John. Who? What's Fab Fab name? I don't know. You know how John, John Boy gets. You Not know when John he's like, Boy. When he's full of that stuff. Don't even worry about it, Miha. <laughs> <laughs> you you only should call her Miha. <laughs> okay. Miha, don't don't even worry about it, Miha. But this is the thing, also, <laughs> Taina. I still want to know what the fuck Ari Fletcher got on you that you don't want us to know so bad. Because you remember whenever Taina tried to post happy birthday to your son? Yeah, you couldn't even say happy and birthday. And Ari said, take that shit down before I tell him. And what did Taina do? Some Fab. Uh, some <laughs> leaked. Some archive. <laughs> Fab obviously don't know what it is. Because you think Fab would have said it? Ari. <laughs> if it, Ari. <laughs> so, he, don't, he obviously don't know what it is. I don't know, fam. There's a whole lot of family secrets going on Hell over yeah. there. Shit, shit getting wild. Hell yeah. But you know, she probably, I mean, she probably, I don't, 
I've heard rumors that he really is bitter behind Emily and like you I know what I'm saying it. T- Fab looks like a I can't have you nobody can't type nigga man I'm gonna still do me yeah he looks like it I would not be surprised by that one bit bro not to mention what well, we heard they got married once the charges was you know pending, pending. hell yeah we him putting his hands on on y'all but you know uh power to Emily and yeah you know Emily I I pray that you were like happy you know, I pray that you're safe. Mm-hmm. I pray your daughter is safe. I don't. I also don't put it past a nigga to come over and pick up only his sons and leave the daughter behind. That's, I don't put it past. That, that's her. a girl. She needs to be with yeah, her she mama. She needs to be with her mama. Mm-hmm. That's that, what she needs to be. That's a little girl. We gonna go rough house. Yeah, me, and my son. I'm, they finna go fuck up. I mean, they finna go see how. <laughs> not, not my little princess. For real. Out. That's that's some like, fam. If you ain't finna come get all of them. You okay, can't don't get, come. You're gonna just come get your favorite too. That's the really fuck? crazy. And all of them are yours? Hell yeah. Nigga, you might need to pick up Taina. I mean, literally, like, she was around, like, I, wasn't she, like, super young when they got together? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, come, you don't, don't get two of your kids and then leave one. It's because she ain't got red hair. Hmm. Is that what, it, like, is that what it is? She ain't got, like, I, I think it's because she a girl. Because she ain't a ginger. I think it's because she, she's a girl. You know, niggas be, get real iffy whenever it comes to shit like that. And then now it's like. They don't want to clean her good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a hoe. <laughs> Nigga, she got a yeast infection now. Like, what the fuck? Stop playing. <laughs> God, just because you don't wash your balls. I mean, this baby ain't got to be clean. You know, nigga, I, man, a man can't be changing a girl diaper. That's gay. Nigga, where, where y'all be getting these rules from? That's gay. <laughs> it's your baby. <laughs> That's your daughter. Hell nah, little man ain't little man ain't po be around a little girl pocketbook like that. <laughs> They're <a> pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, not you gonna say no around no little girl pocketbook. You know, niggas don't know how to say nothing without it's all a pussy and pocketbook. Hell yeah, well wee wee. Cover your wee wee. We done said everything but vagina. Hell yeah. <laughs> there was one video. Your cookie. We, <laughs> not your cookie. Don't let nobody eat your cookie. <laughs> niggas, got, niggas had that kind of ration after their daughters. Bruh. Don't let, put bruh, them, don't let nobody put, put, their hand, put your hand holler. in their pocketbook. Bro, it reminded me of that one video uh, where you had said dingling and a man was like, can we just say penis? <laughs> I'm like, no, bitch, ding a ling. Ding a ling a ling. <laughs> ding a ling a ling. <laughs> Bruh. Man. I don't, I don't, niggas be super weird about their daughters, though. Girl, for real. That That is strange. I thought it was very strange, too. And then for you to take a picture mm-hmm. and post it like of you, a daughter that you don't allegedly really fuck with mm-hmm, like that, like, mm-hmm. it's even weirder. Bruh, I can't like even the picture that Fab posted. The little girl looks very young. I'm like, for her to be two, that didn't look like no two year old. That looked like she was under and one. Uh, yeah, and the last time he was around. <laughs> 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 Your last day. Hell yeah, come come here, little girl. <laughs> he said, I'm like, "Hey, hey, bro, snap us up real quick. I'm gonna post this for the gram in two years, and right. I'll take care of it." All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to pick up my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> to toss her, toss her back to Emily. Hell yeah! I, right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. I, right, I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Call me. Okay. Call me if y'all need anything. I ain't gonna answer, but call. F A B O. Holla back. You know he look at daughter. Holla back, youngin. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> that's a foul shit though hell yeah that's a foul shit. niggas don't be knowing they be creating daddy issues okay. and complexes and everything but, in their damn daughter but real quick maybe maybe tiny ain't said nothing because she been pregnant the last three Eight years years. <laughs> you know what i'm saying back to back to back so she probably ain't had time to she been going through her own shit yeah didn't one didn't one uh g herbo drunk at the hospital 
<laughs> he was? That's what he said. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was drunk. At the, I was so nervous and anxious. I was drunk. And they showed him a picture. He was in the bed with her. Why are you nervous? This is your third round. Every every pregnancy different. <laughs> If the woman's every pregnancy this different. your third round nigga bro so maybe that's why she didn't say nothing at the, at the time maybe i mean she pregnant, got her own beef with ari she do yeah Taino oh and ari. yeah oh duh yeah damn they what? my mom was almost in it too girl that part mom was all, and I, like said, i said i still want to know what the hell ari know about Taina. she knows i don't maybe some about all three of them she probably like everybody weird over there, <laughs> and my son don't need to be around no weird hell shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I knew, I knew that. See that? That's why they can't be over there now. And that little girl don't even go nowhere. She be always be her mom. And uh, uh-uh, that y'all y'all strange. Yeah. For uh-uh, uh-uh. My your son ain't gonna be around that shit. Hell yeah. All right, Ari. But yeah, definitely best of luck, and then mm-hmm. hopefully a little baby. You know, she had a good birthday. You know? Regardless, hell yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was better without your daddy. <laughs> she probably sent a gift or something. Yeah, probably probably a Burberry set Hell yeah. head to toe. Probably sent her a Rolex. Remember that video where uh, Future was it Future by Baby Future a uh, yeah. Rolex? Like, wow! <laughs> and he want to go run off in Hell his yeah. light up shoes. Hell yeah, his <laughs> Mickey Mouse shoes <laughs> make him go fast. Hell yeah! You know, you don't give a fuck about that shit. Wow! Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Future. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, the Navius. That Navius. <laughs> thanks, Navius. <laughs> This is cool. <laughs> now I'm about to go play in dirt. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to do. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go on over to our last topic. All right. Uh, we're going to do 100 rounds. Okay. Boosie. <laughs> Come on, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Boosie love. Boosie badass. <laughs> <laughs> um... Louisiana. Okay. All right, y'all. So, you know, Boosie be all over the damn internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but here lately, or here recently, he mm-hmm. was actually on uh, Drink Champs. Okay. And Boosie had a, a few things to say regarding social media and relationships. Okay. So, let me play this for y'all. What the fuck that nigga saying? Everything. It made more avenues for money. Right. For sure. But if up everything marriages <laughs> <laughs> everything right. at first you, you should just see the network <laughs> you and that's it and come home <laughs> that's all she had to look at <laughs> now she got about 30,000 to look at right. you heard me right. for when you don't act right, right. and she hypnotized by all the other bitches getting shit <laughs> that she ain't getting. <laughs> so all that time you didn't put in with no money, uh-huh. it's everything. It's you too. Uh-huh. All you had to look at was your side, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> you <laughs> home and come back. <laughs> That's all we had. That's all we had. Just a couple sides on the other side of town. <laughs> now you hypnotized. Yeah. You look at your seat a thousand better. <laughs> Or Bella. <laughs> so Boosie basically said that uh, social media has fucked up relationships. Mm-hmm. And it's led to so many failed relationships because we all just got access to too much. Niggas be weird. <laughs> Niggas be real weird. So he's saying social media is the reason why so many relationships don't last? Yeah, a lot of failed relationships. He said because it used to be that that you as a woman mm-hmm. would see the niggas that you work with and mm-hmm. you see your husband. Mm-hmm. He's like, now you see the niggas that you work with. Mm-hmm. You see the niggas on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You see the bitches on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And you still see your husband. <laughs> <laughs> so he's saying it's too much temptation for us. Yeah. Well, he's saying it's too much temptation for everybody. Everybody has access to way too much. Mm-hmm. Which, you know what? Like, I'm not the biggest... I think that Boosie says a lot of wrong shit, but even a broken clock is right twice a day. And I think that there is a little bit of truth to what Boosie's saying. Mm-hmm. Because I do believe that we do have access to a lot more than what we used to. Mm-hmm. And I believe that even sometimes like social media can kind of shape what it is that you actually like. Okay. I believe you can like you cannot know that you like something until you've been exposed to it. 
I mean, like, that could be about anything, though. Like, that could be like, oh, I didn't really, I didn't really know I like bacon until you put on a burger and that shit busting. Like, yeah, but now social media has created to where you can taste the bacon. <laughs> Or you can see the bacon at least and be like, damn, I actually think I want to try that. You don't believe there's any truth to it? I, a, a little bit, but I like I don't like I don't want to give social media that much that much power over my relationship. I feel like if you're gonna be a cheating ass nigga, you're gonna be a cheating ass nigga with face with Instagram or not. And matter of fact, some of the biggest cheaters I've been with don't have no social media at all. I mean, points were made. Like them niggas who are I don't fuck with that. Them niggas. Girl, y'all forgetting f- people still talk on phones people still meet face to face like niggas still like some niggas still meet face those layers are there too but add the social media into it i feel like it, that's that's it's something that's already like i i will say it can be like the strive for like perfection like you know what i'm saying like the feeling like there's gonna be always someone better right and nigga this is the good as good as you're gonna get you know what i'm saying right. so somehow this is good as you're gonna get so i could I, I could see it as far as that aspect but like, I don't see, like, so I don't feel like social media ain't going to make me want to cheat. No, I don't think social media will make me want to cheat. Mm-hmm. But I can see social media making me be, like, looking at a nigga and then looking at mine and being like, mm, I ain't got to deal with this shit. Get, get it together, bitch. <laughs> think, or I can, I can see it making me feel like, think big, think bitch. Think big, I can see that. Uh-huh. I can definitely see that. And then I also, uh, like I had said it whenever EJ and TJ were here, Mm -hmm. that if you look at the crazy thing about social media is nobody's social media is the same. Yeah, that's true. Like we will never see two algorithms that that are the exact Mm -hmm. same. We'll never see that. Mm -hmm. And so somebody's timeline really shows you Mm -hmm. a lot about that person. Mm -hmm. So what if I didn't know I like feet until... So you see a feet picture. I came across a foot pic. Or I didn't like here lately, don't judge me. Mm-hmm. I was watching like ingrown hair videos. And I'm like, bruh, I never like why the fuck am I watching this? Mm-hmm. But here I am. And here uh, watching it. Watching it. Mm-hmm. Or your YouTube, YouTube do the same shit. Like YouTube, you should watch one video, the next thing you know, you done gone down a whole rabbit mm-hmm. hole. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, my, something wrong with my algorithm because I like fat, dark niggas and <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing a bunch of them. That's what I like. I like big, black, dark niggas with beards. Girl. I, I like big, black, dark niggas with beards Girl. and gold teeth. I don't think I shags. talked about on here how I had a, I, I met that one nigga that was a, a plus size model. Wait, you call, you say that with niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that what he was? Ain't he a husky? Oh, that's what they call husky him? Husky man. Oh, he was a husky model. That's what they call him, big and tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's their section, the big and tall section. Yeah, he, he, was, a, he was a big and tall model. Uh-huh. So, okay, <laughs> this was actually this year I met this nigga, uh-huh. crazy enough. Uh-huh. Got, on a, got on this, like early early ass flight to dallas Mm -hmm. i had these like issues with my flight coming back from dominican republic Mm -hmm. and get on the plane i'm flying southwest you know southwest you pick your own seat Mm -hmm. i pick my seat i go to the very back of the plane Mm -hmm. and so whenever we were sitting at the terminal still i had noticed him like looking at me or whatever but bitch it's fucking 6 30 in the morning like yeah. yeah I'm not really too worried about that. Mm-hmm. So I go very back. This nigga done skipped. Mind you, the flight was not full. Mm-hmm. Nigga done skipped over all these open seats. Mm-hmm. He comes over to mine. Anybody sitting here? Mm-hmm. You know what time it is. Nigga, no. <laughs> I was like, I guess you are now. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Nigga talks to me the entire flight. Mm-hmm. Turns out he's some big and tall husky model. (laughs) (laughs) And he's like, (laughs) very. Uh And he was like, yeah, you know, I was a, I was a TSR daddy. (laughs) TSR zaddy. You know, shade room be doing them zaddy posts. Uh He's like, yeah, you know, I was a TSR zaddy, whatever. And so then this nigga starts telling me, he's like, yeah, you know, I have women in my DMs all day long. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and I like meeting women like you that don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like regular women. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. I like me the ones that ain't my fans. I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, I don't really follow like husky models. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not like. I know the dude who uh, the Fenty one. Uh-huh. I know the Fenty big and tall, and but I, like and the baby model. He's like, oh yeah, you know that's my that's my homeboy. I'm sure. And then he told me that the baby. Are you uh, fat security. bitches hanging out together? <laughs> <laughs> fat bitches link up, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Swim thick. <laughs> I know. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh-huh. So this nigga starts telling me like, oh yeah, you know, like I. He said he was like on the way to Arizona or something, but nothing he said fucking made sense. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay. We talked for like two days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mind you, the nigga don't follow me on Instagram and everything. He on Instagram sending me like relationship videos, and I'm like, nigga, whoa, like. <laughs> Well, Chill out. Go there. Okay. Like, I don't know how we got here. Calm your fat ass down. <laughs> Calm your thick ass down. Sit your thick ass down. <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie, nigga was thick. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was thick and tall. Okay. <laughs> and so I was just like, okay, like, whatever. And then he said he was coming to Dallas uh-huh. and he wanted to, like, he was from Miami, wanted to fly me to Miami and all this shit. Mm-hmm. And then one day I got on Instagram, nigga had, like, unfollowed me. And I was just like, Oh, okay. That's strange. I was like, I don't know how we got here. That's really strange. Girl, I guess. But I was just like, okay. Mm -hmm. You clearly have found like value Mm -hmm. in social media. And you're trying to make it seem like social media doesn't hold as much weight Mm -hmm. with it as as you say. Mm -hmm. But... And you're steady telling me, like, oh, you know, I have women in my DMs all mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. He started opening up the DMs and was like, you know, look at these mm-hmm. women. Hey, daddy. Hey, daddy. Like, mm-hmm. you're so fine and all this shit. And I was, I'm just sitting there like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it meant more to him than it did to you. But that's another thing, too. Like, when people's whole identity is their social media yeah. or whatever and stuff like that. Like, that'd be another thing, too, because, like... Bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Girl, like your follower shit, account I don't. or any of that. Like I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like I really don't. That's cool. I I honestly don't really. I was I don't care to. But if it's not, I really just like really care about. Like I honestly don't even want. I don't want to follow you. I can't. Like, I don't want to follow you. Like I will, but like. It's not like I'm like, ooh, follow me. Hell yeah, but then I'm like, you don't have to. <laughs> but no, like subconsciously, like when you think like you, they watch your story. Yes. So you, so so you, you gotta think start about filtering. Yeah. So you gotta think about when they watch your story. Oh dang, I can't post this while I'm out because you know what I'm saying they don't know or you know something watching that or I know when I get into it with somebody like I be like dang like I know when we into it because he don't watch my story. Or I don't want, you know, st- stupid shit like that. Right. Or like taking people off your social media, like, oh, you know, they're serious. They they unfollowed you and all the other shit or unfriended you. That'd be, they really be meaning something. Hell yeah. Social people. media really does hold a lot of weight. So I can kind of see how it can. Mm-hmm. It. I will say this. Mm-hmm. Do I think that social media is completely to blame for the failure of relationships? No, but mm-hmm. I can see how it has added. I can I can definitely say how it added too. But I, niggas have lost their entire families for less. But like don't like don't just girl remember when I had went viral for one of them TikToks and somebody like oh that's my that's my husband oh girl yes i do remember that and shit. Brandon ass was married and everything and they was in somebody's church and. The whole floodgates opened up, and I was like, bro, but don't, like, it's not social media. Like, it just came to social media, but then nigga was still doing it. Y'all granddaddy still had pro- secret families, fam. Like, But ain't dating apps a form of social media? That too. That, But don't don't make it just seem like dating app is the reason, like, I just I don't like I just don't, I don't want to be giving social media that much power. But it does. It has a lot of power, but not as because honestly and truthfully, like I would not be surprised if the internet is a part of our demise. <laughs> Damn, I mean it, it very well could be, but it's like, is it social media or is this nigga really trash? I'm, that too, mm-hmm. but it's kind of like the saying, uh, like money does money just like 
it, uh, it just like intensifies the person that you really are. Mm-hmm. Like w- social media is the exact same. I can see that. I can you know, because that. social media, your phone now gives you the opportunity to be able to do things that you wouldn't normally do mm-hmm. or say, th- say things that you wouldn't normally say. Mm-hmm. You know, people get on the Internet and completely hide behind aliases. Mm-hmm. Trolls. And and let off a hundred rounds mm-hmm. of shit that they wouldn't normally do. You know, I thought I once had, I was like, dang, I wonder if my ex is really one of my, uh, a troll, a troll. Girl. And like, we'll just be saying shit. I would hope that I wouldn't fuck with no pussy ass nigga that would go to them links. Fam, I done been with, like, some of my biggest ops have been niggas. And then I don't know how else to better say that. Some of my biggest ops and haters have been niggas. So like. I mean, I, again, put it past them, I'll say that. I wish, it, girl, I feel like definitely one of my exes put sugar in my tank. So I definitely could feel like a nigga. <laughs> Could it's be capable on. of getting on there calling you a fat bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You no. just be talking shit. Hell yeah. I guess. I, I don't I don't know. Um I just feel like it's not it's not a scapegoat, but it, social media definitely does have a huge impact in relationships. But nigga gonna be trash with or without it. Yeah, no, I think if you got a trash nigga, you mm-hmm. you got a trash nigga on or off the internet. Mm-hmm. Um but now your trash niggas uh, access might be a little bit wider. Oh, it's definitely a lot wider. Than it used to be. And it, but these these niggas be scary though. These because that they'll say whatever on internet and won't say it to your face. So it gives scary men more uh, confidence. I say that. Yeah. It definitely get like especially the ones that I sent you. I just yeah. saw you. I saw you while you was out. So, what if social media is like liquid courage? It low key is, cause I don't, listen. I don't be with the old, the whole taps and shit like that. Like that ain't a way to tell me that you like me, cause I'm probably gonna miss it. You know right, what I'm saying? Facts. You gotta, you gotta at least slide on my DM. Like I, I like three of your pictures. I'm gonna fuck around and miss that. And the DM? I don't know. There's no DM. That that's I'm not missing no DM. If I <laughs> well, shit, sometimes I might be in general. <laughs> that's what I'm but saying. for the most part, they shouldn't never damn request. No, nah, for the most part, don't send it on Facebook because Facebook go to the whole some whole other different Man, type black of hole. whole some other different type of spam. But uh, Instagram, I want to see them. But yeah, like don't. I'm not one of them girls like three three likes and then let's like, and then you go like three of his pics. Hell yeah, I'm not. Uh-uh. Now, whenever I first follow a nigga, like I'll go through. I like all like his photos. I'll probably like like maybe six. Mm-hmm. If I'm really feeling frisky, nine. Damn. Yeah, I'll probably like a few of them. Hey, listen, if I like you, I'm not liking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no trace, no case. Hell yeah, if I really like you, bitch, I'm not like, I I see it now. I know you posted it, but I ain't finna like shit. No, nah, I like that photo. Now I tell you, I was like, oh, you look nice. I'm yeah. not liking I'm it. I'm not commenting. That's what I'm not doing. I will like your pic, but uh-huh. I I refuse to comment. You, want some, you ain't gonna put some hard eyes on that? Hell day? no. So some bitch can uh, send me you. the the fist <laughs> and then slide in my damn DM. Excuse, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, who are you? <laughs> it's my husband. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, I don't got time for Hell that. Hell yeah, I definitely be looking. Girl, I be, what I be looking at is comments and then you go back and the comments be gone. <laughs> so be somebody spicy like oh you look good or hey sexy or hey daddy and i'm like oh, okay I, trust me i done swiped it i done swiped and hit that little red delete button on a few niggas comments on my pics oh god i'm gonna leave it nigga you ain't finna do that no i'm gonna leave it no you ain't finna make people think we fuck around no, with each other, I, I, ain't that? I want you to know niggas want me <laughs> other niggas want me i will leave a hard eye but i'm not finna leave no like pss, i'm gonna leave or it. like what's your name like, what I what I do do is I'm not gonna like it. I don't like everything else around it, but I won't like that because you ain't like dude, that's how like, all these social media. Games. I know, I know. These, that's how you, you know. talking about social media ain't got no power. All right, fam, cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> but yeah, don't don't look for me and my niggas likes because I ain't there. Nah, I'm gonna like it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm gonna like it with the rest of the hoes. No, y'all gonna be hey, babe. <laughs> no, you ain't get no satisfaction from me. <laughs> you ain't adding my like to the collection. I tell you that much. But that's all I have in this week with the shit. All right, we'll head on to the last arc. You sent me this last week, too, and I didn't even talk about it. McDonald's has a Happy Meal for oh, adults yeah. now. And listen, I've been trying to get one. Uh, they don't have them? They stop selling at a certain time. They, they run out. They start selling like around noon. I don't know if they have any more now. But it's called the Cactus Plant Flea Market Box. 
and comes either a nugget or a burger with the regular the OG figurines, but like done in a different type of style. Mm-hmm. And so it's really just a big kids box. Like it's really a big kids box. So these are becoming collectors items. People are start looking for certain ones and stuff like that. Yeah, because I read there's like a new figurine or something like that. Mm-hmm. But the burger, it ain't no Happy Meal burger though. It's a Big Mac or a ten piece. So it's made for. <laughs> It's made for it's made for grown folks, a big doll or big kids. Remember they said a big kids meal? Hell yeah, I remember that. It came in that bigger box and it had six. <laughs> you had two more nuggets in there. I haven't ate McDonald's in years, but I'm really low key tempted to go get try to get one. So, are you gonna eat the food if you get a box? Probably not. Damn, it's wasteful. I know, which there, makes it seem like why the fuck would I even go? Somebody will eat it though. Somebody, somebody will. Somebody definitely will eat some McDonald's. Hell yeah, let's say. I, I do like they spicy mustard. I, I'll take a low vibrational <laughs> McDonald's plate. You I want ain't a low vibrational meal? Hell yeah, fam. Listen, I will fucking tear up some nuggets. Like, oh, and they sweet tea. And they sweet teas be like fresh. And they smoothies. God, fuck up some McDonald's. Bro, I, literally, I legit have not ate McDonald's in probably 15 years. I'm one of them ones. I seen how they make nuggets, <laughs> and don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I know they. I know they had them pre shapes already. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Not one. You fuck. know what stopped me from eating it? What I that al- documentary? No, I almost choked on a bone that was in a nugget. <laughs> and my rationale would be like, well, at least I know it's, it's chicken. Real chicken. <laughs> All I could think to myself was like, what if a little baby, like people be throwing a kid's meal in the backseat and just letting their kid go to town. Yeah. And you wonder why your kid quiet. She done fucking choked on a goddamn chicken bone. Yeah, I had a big ass chicken bone inside of a chicken nugget. Damn it. I don't think they had anything with chicken in the back then. What about, I don't know. Yeah, no, nah, that was whenever McDonald's was still giving us uh, that dark meat. You remember them nuggets used to be dark meat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Huh? Nuggets was not always white meat. I don't rec- Them nuggets used to be thighs. Okay. <laughs> and that, but that's my Because, you know, you can open a can of tuna and have a bone in there. Yeah, I don't. I just stopped eating it. Okay, that was it. Yeah, because I, I just was like, damn, I almost fucking choked. She was slower than it. Bro. <laughs> I be having PTSD with that shit. Damn, I'm still listen. scared of pineapple. Huh? I, mean, I, almost, I almost died eating pineapple last August. Vaguely, I ate a big ass chunk of pineapple, uh-huh. and it was. See, I have a thing where I don't like eating cold food. Uh-huh. Like if I eat cold, I'll eat ice cream. Mm-hmm. Even ice cream, I like try to take it slow. Mm-hmm. But like, I ate like this. Got some pineapple from Wawa mm-hmm. in DC, mm-hmm. and oh, the I pineapple that. I swallowed it, ate it and blocked my airway completely. I didn't breathe for like a minute. Damn, I remember that. Yeah, and I still got PTSD. Like, remember I got that pineapple from you over the weekend? Uh-huh. Bruh, I literally, I was like, I can't eat this while I'm here by myself. <laughs> Not here by yourself. I'm so, I'm so afraid of choking. Damn. And being by myself. You like, eat dead ass. Fail. So I'm like, I need to, if I'm going to eat this, I have to be around somebody in case I choke. I know, I'm fat as fuck. <laughs> like, I, I, didn't, I didn't say some shit at McDonald's in my food, and then I'm like, I ain't gonna go back for a little bit, but then I. <laughs> Here I am. I ain't never said not never. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I ain't been back since. Girl, I, I still eat Taco Bell occasionally, so. Oh my. Do you see that? I would never <laughs> eat that. <laughs> I would never eat that. You, you, you can tell which one a queen and which one a hood, right? Yeah, see, my plate, your plate, this one royalty. <laughs> And me with my crunch wrap and my goddamn Dorito wrap Supreme. Doritos Taco Supreme. Hell yeah. Oh, that's oh bruh. This is delicious. I think Taco Bell's worse than McDonald's, fam. And then you have me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want Ready to like, risk it all. Uh, risk it for the biscuit, goddamn me. Damn, Hell yeah. Fam. You're fucking right. But yeah, I think it's like ten bucks for the meal though. But people have been going braids over them, trading them and stuff like that. They remind so. me of them Beanie Babies all over again. Hell yeah. Like, hell yeah. A cactus, a cactus, because uh, I think the cactus brand is really known for uh, working with Travis Scott and the cactus jack shoe and stuff like that. So. Oh, so, oh, it's the same brand. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. I think. <laughs> I'm not it's saying. A, mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> I think it is, though. I think it is. So. You know, Bay Bash happened this, this very weekend. It you know, sure did. It was a cool event, you know. And a good old time. A good time. And, you know, of course, you know, those type of events are still not very 
very Texas friendly, you know. How do you feel that it's over now? Oh, I'm I'm so like I'm I'm glad. Like that whole like this is my first because usually I do events with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like having to do like my whole event by myself from the beginning to the end. And I had a lot of like input, you know what I'm saying? I asked people stuff all the time, questions and stuff, but like I'm so glad it's finally over. It was just, it just felt good to like do and get it out and all that stuff. And there were some things that, you know, happened and things, you know, I wish I could change or do different, but I'm so, I'm so glad for the event. And then all my friends were there and I just so, I'm so thankful for y'all. Yeah, really it was a very successful event. Thank you. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So it's going to be another one next year, but all the way next year. All right, God damn me. But, you know, on the eve of that, Biden just announced that he's parting thousands of people convicted of possessing marijuana and citing that the current systems make no sense. Uh, duh. It's stupid. <laughs> so the part will, ap- <laughs> will apply to all federal offenders convicted of simple marijuana possession, along with individuals who've been charged in the D.C. area. Um, and he wants governors across the whole nation to follow suit. He said no one should be in federal prison due to the possession of marijuana, and no one should be in local jails or state prison for that reason either. First, he's pardoning all prior federal offenses of simple marijuana possession. Um, there are thousands of people who've previously been convicted of that may have been denied housing, employment, or educational opportunities. As a result, his pardon will remove that burden. Hmm. Also, he said he was going to look into um, classifying how marijuana is classified under the federal drug laws because it's classified as the same as heroin. Which is crazy. Which is crazy because I like, I don't, they used to always try to scare people and say marijuana is a gateway. I ain't ever smoked them like, ooh. <laughs> I'm finna go to fentanyl. Crack next. <laughs> Heroin, here I come. I want that shit in my veins now. Like, I ain't ever, like... I think I want to smoke ice. Yeah, oh, I wonder what, what that be like. Matter of fact, I ain't ever had that shit in me. Like, oh, I'm going to put some... some uh, What's the, what's the stuff you put in bodies? Oh, uh, formaldehyde. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to sprinkle a little formaldehyde on it. Wet. Y'all want some gorilla piss. <laughs> I ever just, like... Niggas was on them... Uh, well, niggas was on wet, heavy. I don't think niggas knew they was on wet. Nah, girl. Some niggas, <laughs> some niggas was introduced to it unknowingly. I remember in my, my old, old, old days, this one of my exes cheated on me with a girl that smoked wet. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, and me and her fought. Oh, uh, did she beat your ass? Bruh, I beat <laughs> hers. Oh, shit. So who the crackhead here? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> First, I was like, oh, I know this bitch know how to fight. Hell yeah. I was like, I know this bitch know how to fight. Nah, bruh. She was out there slow as dead. I was about to say, if she on that wet bed, she slow. Bruh, she moving she slow. She's slow. She moving slow. And motion. I'm just, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm just, and afterwards, I was like, I really beat up somebody who smokes wet. And then it don't feel as good, do it? No. <laughs> I was like, I really should have like not went as hard. You almost beat a crackhead up. I almost killed a wethead. <laughs> Damn, if wet don't kill her, you ain't. <laughs> I know that for a goddamn sure. You didn't almost kill her. Bruh, she was out there moving slow. Damn. Sitting sideways. Damn, fam. I'm trying to think. You know, I had my interactions with a crackhead before. And I didn't really know he was a crackhead, but the stuff he was doing was very crackyish. So it made sense after a while. The, the trinket's still a nigga. <laughs> The the pink cart still a nigga, and I just would I'll never Tom forget, Tom I ne- girl I was, I think my goddamn Garmin <laughs> with my address still programmed in that bitch you know, I was so goddamn hot but I kept thinking about like bruh I kept thinking like this is TMI oh this nigga nut is so thick ew I know it ain't nothing but the drugs <laughs> oh I want to throw up it probably hurt coming out I I don't know but I was like. I don't think your nuts supposed to be cooked like this. <laughs> but my mouth just got like. <laughs> I'm, I might throw up. You know, you about to throw up your mouth, start watering. Yeah. See, that's who need to be in jail. <laughs> that's who need to be in jail. But I was like, not, not niggas for weed. What? Th- that nigga need to be in jail. <laughs> Well, he went <laughs> after he pay, he he paid a nice oh. little visit. But I was like, oh no! Oh. I was like, this this is a side effect drug. They don't tell you about drugs. And I don't know I I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But I was like, this this ain't normal. Gotta. This ain't normal. 
It gotta have something to do with and it. And it ain't, there, ain't going link. in me. There's a missing link. <laughs> that ain't, yeah, that ain't following up on. I don't, it wasn't going to me. I, that's all I knew. And I'm not really, you know, I. <laughs> I'm trying to prevent myself from vomiting. Man, I used to, I used to be a little reckless without the, without the condom usage back then. Oh, no, not with him. No, not with oh. him. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, saying. your ears, Dennis. <laughs> I mean, scream. <laughs> no, I'm oh. no, I'm saying that I was Ooh. I was very much on top of it, and yeah, oh, every single time. I don't blame you. Yeah, that was that. Woo, that was a whole fam, a whole crackhead. That's crazy. A whole crackhead. But freedom men's do. But freedom, freedom marijuana guys. That, yeah, marijuana ain't hurt nobody. No, it's not. Ain't nobody ever overdosed on well. R. P. Lala. <laughs> I don't know if the dog had a, a THC overdose or it was just old. The world ain't never know. But Lila was Lila was seventeen, and her family dropped her off so she could die with you and not them. That's the story I'm sticking to. God damn it! Oh yeah, her family dropped her off. They knew she was about to go. I don't know. Lila probably stopped eating and everything before they dropped her off. Did, she, did Lila come with food? Yeah, they brought food and oh, a it, was, it was a ploy. <laughs> I don't know why Lila. <laughs> what happened with Lila? <laughs> Lila was time to go. Okay, so I, I keep I think they might like damn. Did Lila get a brownie? Lila, man, Lila was finna go anyway. And if so, it probably was how it needs to go anyway. All right, real quick, I want to talk about um, gentle parenting. Mm. So I always get a lot. Of, I always get a lot of flack for being a semi, a semi gentle parent. Like I could probably count on one hand how many times Gucci's been had a you know, had a spanking or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm I'm maybe starting to see some of the effects of that. Like, you're... <laughs> what? You want to say something? Ahead. You want to say something? No, I don't want to say nothing. Nothing. I'm listening. <laughs> so, basically, this whole thing, this whole article stemmed from Kelly Rowland basically saying, like, she's a gentle parent. She practiced gentle parenting and stuff like that. And the whole topic came out. You have one group of parents that were like, oh, I was whipped as a child. I came out... You know, I came out all right, you know, and you have the other group that's like, I w- that's child abuse. Like, there's no links to that. There's nothing that says, you know, punishing a child is, you know, good and things like that. And so I just kind of, I'm kind of anxious to see how you feel about, like, gentle parenting when you hear gentle parenting. Man, beat their ass. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. I'm playing. No, I do. I am a firm believer that, like, some kids, you get a whoop. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> now, I don't believe in, like, you had a bad day at work and you just come in and, and punch your kid in the chest mm-hmm. and i also do think that you can go too far with like like because god bless my mama so my mama used to she was she was good for props mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like a, a whooping would involve a belt mm-hmm. or like a whooping would involve sometimes she might pick up something and throw it mm-hmm. or i also i was crazy you talk about this because the other day i was talking about like the um the mind fuck that some of the whoopings used to be mm-hmm. were like she would pick us up from school and mm-hmm. she'd be like you know you know what to do when you get in the house <laughs> and it was to go in the room and <laughs> lay across the bed <laughs> <laughs> you for that <laughs> You and Shippen, you gonna pay for this? <laughs> but we would get, we would. I remember she'd be like, when we get in the house, you go lay across the bed, take your clothes off, lay across the bed, mm-hmm. and we would pull into the garage, and I would just start shaking like booty meat. <laughs> 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 and there was one time she really fucked with me mentally mm-hmm. because I went in the house and like. At this point in the car, I was like, okay, I'm finna get this whooping. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm finna take my licks Mm -hmm. and I'm finna just, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm finna stand strong on it. Mm -hmm. And I went in her room and laid across the bed. I remember I took my pants off. (laughs) She said, that ain't the story. (laughs) (laughs) Tell it right. (laughs) (laughs) No, for real though. (laughs) My bad, mama. No, nah, but like I laid across the bed and like she left me in there for like an hour. Damn. And I was just like waiting to hear the door open. <laughs> Did you fall asleep? No. Did she ever come? Yeah, she came. Oh, okay. But I think she had well, she wasn't mad no more, so she's like, get up. <laughs> Go to your room. Damn. Yeah, but like mm-hmm. I do think like some of that stuff it did used to go a little too far. Hey, 
Hell yeah. But I wouldn't, I would never say that my mom abused me. My mom definitely never abused me. She never abused me. My mom was just a product of her own environment. Mm -hmm. And she came from a spare to rise, spoil the child family. I'm not going to say that (laughs) because I feel like sometimes my daddy went too fucking far. I feel like that nigga was very much teetering on the edge of some Your stuff. Your daddy wouldn't just whoop you. He would like whoop you and then there was punishment afterwards. Hell yeah, I get two punishments. Like, <laughs> God, you know, whooping what enough? Let me pick one. <laughs> and it would be like, it would, it would be just like, pick your punishment. And I pick, well, let's get the whoop and get it over with. And now you grind it for six months. You know, it'd be shit like that. And right. I'm like, I don't, so the way I was raised also is kind of why I've also like, I'm not real big on physical punishment and stuff like that. Like, I'm more so like, we're going to talk. I'm going to tell you what's expected. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, I feel like it's two different kids require different things. Like, OJ, me and her done had our moments, but I ain't really just had to. She's been always been a good kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that damn Gucci. The same Gucci that called me and FaceTime and twerking. <laughs> <laughs> I answered the FaceTime. She just twerking on top of the camera. <laughs> I said, bye, Gucci. I hung up. <laughs> the same one. The same one who jumped the gate uh, when one nobody home to get a tablet and a snack and jump back over. The same one. Uh, who Why called it? just go out the front door? She can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> she can't turn a lock on the front door, but she can jump a but gate. She can jump a gate and go through a window. <laughs> and, and she can pick a lock <laughs> um, through my bedroom door. But, like, you know, it's been a... a I've heard from a couple, like, especially my dad and stuff, because he's very old school. And, um, but even I noticed it, like, as far as, like, when OJ would, like, ask questions, he'd be like, oh, don't be back talking. I'm like, she's she asking a question, you know right. what I'm saying? But I'm I'm just kind of very cognizant of, like, the things that I was raised and things I believe, like, why can't your kids ask questions or why is that seen as disrespectful and things like that? Now, I'm not, I did have to whoop Gucci the other day. But, like, I'm not just real, like, it takes a lot for me to, like, just really want to whoop some ass. And I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I also think, like, <laughs> some people some people will be gentle parenting and then you want to bring your heathen out in public. <laughs> not your heathen. <laughs> and you think that the rest of us in Target are supposed to gentle parent your kid. Mm-hmm. Your kid done ran past me. Mm-hmm. Your kid... Popping out of the clothes mm-hmm. rack, trying to scare me and all that. <laughs> like, man, like, come get them. Mm-hmm. I think it's a difference between gentle parenting and no parents, you know, and that's what people don't understand. Like, gentle parenting don't mean you don't have any discipline or anything like that. And I think that the issue, the thing with dis- gentle parenting is that it requires a lot more patience, you know what I'm saying, to deal with certain things and, re- start, and regarding, instead of just lashing out and stuff like that. Like, gentle parenting also, I feel like, gives children like a voice to be able to explain stuff you know and talk, and talk about stuff but just coming from a culture where like you know when we were raised kids were supposed to be seen and not heard it was disrespectful for you to come out with adult company and stuff like that and i think all that dismisses like kids as people you know what i'm saying like when you stay in a child's place or like they're only gonna be children for so long yeah you know so i don't i don't know i don't know like it's a fine balance because sometimes i just want to get that belt out but i also have to realize like sometimes i be getting that belt out because i'm mad (laughs) and frustrated right not because i really feel like if i beat her ass she gonna understand you know what i'm saying i don't know i mean i get it Mm -hmm. i definitely understand it Mm -hmm. and i do know that there are parents out there who especially our generation Mm -hmm. where our parents went a little bit too far sometimes Mm -hmm. with things and i understand everybody's whooping was different Mm -hmm. you know and some of it was like more like corporal punishment Mm -hmm. and then some of it was just like a little spank you know just tap a little slap on the wrist Mm -hmm. so i get it and i understand everybody wants to take their different approach to it Mm -hmm. but if your kid's unmanageable Mm-hmm. then you should, you and your gentle parenting, stay home. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Okay. Because don't bring your badass kid mm-hmm. out in public mm-hmm. for me to have to deal with them and be like, uh-uh, no, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do, no, mm-hmm. no. You're not my mom. Like, I don't have time. Well, Charles, why you love your babies. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I, I, I mean, I get that too. You know what I'm saying? But if I, I feel like for the most part, my kids are very... No, they are. You know what I'm saying? They they not finna just cut up with you and all that stuff. Yeah, no. They they don't they make Gucci used to she used to 
Toe the line a little bit. She, but I mean, she was like that with everybody. Though. It wasn't like, yeah. one, like she hated everybody. So it wasn't like, <laughs> it was one of but, you know, for the most part, they're very respectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know how to act. No, they are very good. They're kind. And, and that's I be like, they're kind people. Like, yeah. that's, a, that's a shit I be, like, worried about. I'm not really too much worried about the other stuff. Like, I probably should be more, you know. But I'm just, I just be like, I am i don't really care too much to be yelling and upset. Like, I, I've i grown, I've been grown up around the yelling and stuff. And I'm just, I ain't trying to do all that. Like, yeah. I'm just not trying to do all that. And maybe it's a... A good thing and bad thing for how I was raised or whatever, but I'm just like, we gonna try this gentle until gentle ain't working. So gentle work until it it needs to be a little turned up and then right. we, then we switch it up. But for the most a little part, less a little yeah, sometimes I need to be a little harsh, <laughs> a little tough on that ass, and I ain't afraid to. So, um, I did also read this article too, and it just talked about like. You know, eight things to do when you're ready to give up on dating again and when you're just really tired. Like, I don't think I'm, I, I don't think I'm at that point where I'm just tired of dating mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But, like, you can, it, it can be it can be a lot out here. So, the first thing on here, um, it definitely said to change your way of thinking. So, you know, telling yourself there's no good man available and yeah. stuff like that, you and know, I be saying that hell, niggas ain't shit. Yep. Like, and that's the first that's the first way the, the niggas that ain't shit go find you when you say shit like that. So hell yeah, I definitely be saying no shit like that. They be like, I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> Another one says face your fears. Basically, you know, it can be discouraging when it's been a while or the dates don't go. Like, listen, if anybody had no bad dates, it's me. I be having bad days at the like I be having bad days. Some of the the worst days, but I always be thinking like, dang, I, I met a good nigga before. Tom, it's like it's like the lottery. Yeah, it's they ain't stop whenever they made him. It's only a chance for me to another good one. So like, I don't mind like kissing the bad frogs or or getting the lemons or whatever like that. Cause shit, it's, it's only a matter of time. Um, pinpoint exactly what you're expecting though. So I think this is another thing like going into like situations saying like. Oh, I just want to have fun. But you really know you want something deeper or something more. Facts. Like, don't be lying to yourself about what <laughs> be you want. Honest. Hell yeah. And if these, like, and nigga, I like, whether he going to respect it or not. Whether you going to, like, if you want a relationship, let these niggas know that you're actively seeking another relationship. You mm-hmm. don't want one. It's okay if you don't want one. But don't be lying to yourself about what you want. Facts. Because these niggas are going to tell you what you want to hear. Or what, or what you what they think you want to hear anyway. For the most part. I also know what you're willing to invest. Like, you know, if you feel like this relationship, like I, I can't invest my all or I can only invest in us talking, that's okay too. It's not wrong with just having a talking stage or it just being like getting to know you stage and that's mm-hmm. it. Like if you know you emotionally can't do what you need to do to maintain a relationship, that's okay. Shit, that's what the talking stage is for too. Facts. Like ain't nothing wrong with just being a nigga friend. Avoid marriage dates. And this is what I had to stop doing. Every nigga that you talk to is not your husband. Girl. That is not your husband. And we will sit there and romanticize Facts. some shit that we don't even we don't even know the nigga. Hell yeah. Y'all done had a good good conversation. Now you making plans and shit. Girl, if you don't cut it out. For real. Cause much more than a husband makes in one conversation. It was like this TikTok and it was like, why are you attached to this nigga? He ain't did nothing to you. Hmm. Like, or for you. For you. Oh hell no. Um, sometimes, sometimes, and I think, um, I learned this with Cortez, right? Like I thought when me and Cortez met, like, but it wasn't even like, oh no shit like that. Nigga, he was really looking for a friend. And sometimes that's all the nigga need to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sometimes everybody don't come in your life for romantic things Mm -hmm. or for anything other than just being platonic friends. And I'm so glad that, you know what I'm saying? We never, like, that, that's my nigga for real. For real, for real. And I could have fucked it up if I, you know, just trying to be horny and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> sometimes we fuck it up too. Even when things are going well, continue to move slow. Who bitch, because I used to be a three-day. Speed racer. Ooh, speed right through and speed in, speed out. Run through a nigga house like Tomb Raider. Hell yeah, but ain't nothing wrong. Like, this is something I tell myself too. There's, there's not a... There's not a rushing forever. You know what I'm saying? The, the person that you're supposed to be with or the person you're going to be with, you're going to meet them eventually. Ain't no rush on that shit. Facts. Like, ain't no rush at all. Um, This is something you talked about on Petty Party. Know your non-negotiables. 
and stick to them because these niggas they know theirs they know theirs and they ain't know switching your work, it up queen. You, if, if, and I, I hate ain't nothing i hate more than a nigga who know what he got the offer girl because he ain't gonna go for your shit girl you can't even play with no nigga like that you see how many niggas were agreeing like yeah i know mckean i know <laughs> I know my value. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not putting up with just anything. Hell yeah. And somebody had commented and said something like, um, well, why don't men, wait, what was it? Why don't men value their bodies? And another woman commented and was like, that's not one of their boundaries. And I was like, damn. Fuck. Yeah, that ain't something they, yeah, because these niggas don't get checked. So they, <laughs> it ain't high on their boundaries. Shit. You know that. That ain't high enough on their boundaries. It is what it is. <laughs> And I think that's that's all I have too. Um, we do have a hear ye, hear ye though. Let's get it. Um, let's see. Okay, he, uh, you could choose. The boyfriend got the gifts, but she don't like them. Do I tell my boy's girlfriend that she's cheating on her, or I live with my ex and we act like we're still dating? Mm. Ex. Okay. My ex and I are both thirty-two, and we live together. And we lived together for three years. We have a car together, um, pets, student loans, debt, etc. We're in a lease together until July. We can't afford another bed, so we're sleeping together and share a room. Basically, we're really genuinely in love. It was a love that anyone could wish for. It felt so pure and real. My, heart, my partner had to move away for five months for work, and during that time, our communication was awful. Our relationship was exhausting. It was painful to talk with each other. But when my partner came back, the feelings were the same. Our love is not comfortable and just isn't what it was. It's also very draining. So we talked recently, and we I deci- we decided to break up. However, now that we've broken up, our relationship has been good. <laughs> <laughs> our sex is better. Our communication is not forced, and we're just having fun together. So strangely enough that even though we aren't together, we forgot how to be friends. Our rule is we cannot date other people while in our lease. What? Uh, why are you having sex when y'all broke up? And we cannot go out of our way to take care of each other anymore. It's basically a monogamous situation ship. We haven't really mourned our breakup because of this. We can't. But for some reason, it's just better. I feel like I'm recognizing I do love him. And I don't want to because I don't want either of us. What the fuck? How long do I wait before asking to get back together? Or she even get back with them? It don't sound like y'all not together it's, yeah y'all sound <laughs> very much in a relationship sound like y'all like sound like you've unlocked a new level <laughs> of it hell yeah y'all can't date y'all don't date y'all have sex y'all sleep in the same bed where where the breakup happen i mean the breakup happened because y'all say y'all not together right <laughs> sounds like y'all are very much together to me um uh, maybe but good luck no but i think the thing was like she was saying like even though we hadn't like put a title on it, things are better. So maybe don't don't stay out together. Yeah, just continue to say you're broken up. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. Yeah, I, and just continue to say you're broken up and be together. But yeah, keep that shit over there. Yeah. <laughs> don't involve nobody else in that. It sounds yeah. like y'all have an agreement with the lease and all that stuff. Facts. At least, <laughs> at least until July. Yeah, facts. You know he ain't gonna be bringing Worry about else. it then. I. What's gonna happen is July gonna come and y'all gonna find another lease. Girl, no, what's going to happen is one of them is going to really act like they're not in a relationship. And then I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> they're going to be like, wait a minute. And they're going to be like, we're not together. Boy, if if a nigga, if we still stay in the same bed and I'm making your meals and we fucking and we're not together, but we have an agreement and you going to. But why would you do all that for a nigga you're not in a relationship? Because I'm in a relationship. <laughs> I'm in a relationship at this point. Like, the delusion be real. Nigga, we together. Tell me what tell me what makes me not us not together. The fact that y'all have had a conversation and said you're not. Well, he right here. We still laid up. Of course he is. We still you just said you still fucking and cooking. I'd be there too. What well, you ain't left then. So we're together. Yeah, I'd be there too. So we're together. I'd be there too. Together. That's another thing. We be giving we we give niggas the free for all. <laughs> no, but I'm like, we giving each other the free for all. We're clearly together. What, what do we get? We uh, <laughs> Women be giving a lot and not getting much in return. You right about that. <laughs> just the honest truth. Girl, We're all guilty of it. But it just, it just sounds like y'all are not broken up. No, they're definitely not broken up. No. 
So whether y'all have an understanding or, or whatever, y'all are y'all are together. And I don't know if he don't want to get back together or if y'all don't just want to put a title on it because the title is what makes shit messy or whatever. But right. y'all have an understanding. Y'all are clearly monogamous. I don't know what what else you call this beside a relationship. Uh, it's a form of a relationship. Yeah. It may not be a... I mean, it might just be what works for y'all. And I guess if you found it, like kudos, because some of us ain't even found that. Facts. So. I think I think that's the thing that I'm realizing, like relationships, like whatever work for y'all. Yeah, if it, it, whatever. Just be safe. Don't harm nobody. Hell yeah. Make sure you have consent. Hell yeah. Just whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Le- leave the children, the animals, and the elderly alone. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the, well, yeah. I think yeah, in the disadvantage. Yeah, facts. Anybody who can't <laughs> consent <laughs> to nothing. Leave everybody else alone. But everybody one, else be safe. Be safe, one, though. <laughs> we the ones that got sense. Be safe. Be safe. Yeah, be safe. So, yeah, if that, I mean, if that if that works for you, because there's some people, once you start putting a relationship on, like, a, that title, girlfriend, boyfriend. I'm not scared about the girlfriend, boyfriend title. I'm scared about the fiance title. That scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Why? I don't, that's like, <laughs> that's, one, that's one step closer. No. That's one, like, I'm, that's one step closer. Like, I feel, ooh. So you more scared of fiance than husband? I'm I'm scared I'm scared from that point on period. <laughs> just living a life of fear. Yeah, not not fear, but it's just like ooh, we serious. That's serious. That's big. That's big girl talk. That's big boy talk. Period. Fiance. Period. Ah. Uh-uh, period. <laughs> <laughs> not you. You fianced. Yeah. That's a lot. That's ooh. Big goal. Hey. For somebody, that's a that's just a lot. Hey, look, what, what was them eight things you just read? <clears throat> Be careful what you speak now. I, that's that's still a lot. A fiance <laughs> still a lot. I didn't say it was bad. That's just a lot. That's just a that's the next step. That's a lot. Oh, you gotta be ready for that. That's all. Yeah, that ain't a bad thing. It's just with it. ain't a bad thing. But yeah, <laughs> ding a ling a ling. <laughs> no, that's the same ring. Pinky ring till I get a wedding ring. Come on. <laughs> Well, that's it. I don't know if that helped at all. Uh, right. I guess the response is just do it work for y'all. If that works, whatever else. Um, we don't have anything going on so far at the moment. Shit, y'all, I had my thing going on. I ain't got nothing else going on. What about you? Yeah, no. <laughs> you said, yeah, no. Everything's everything's everything over everything's here. Everything's everything. Any questions, comments, concerns, you can hear us up at Hear You Podcast at hearyoupodcastgmail.com or our website at www.hearyoupodcast.com. You can also find us on all social media platforms at Hear You Podcast. And you can find me on IG at Huda underscore Breezy, B R E E E E Z Y. And where can they find you at? And of course, you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tana. No, I <laughs> they said that. They cannot find you on week. Twitter. Yeah, Your Twitter I'm not on is. Twitter. Is what that was a lie. <laughs> what else? Twitter? Twitter suspended <laughs> exactly for for non activity. Yeah, sorry. Uh-huh. Remember that social media talk we had earlier? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, but yeah, no, I am on Instagram at <laughs> Tana Taught You. That's T A N N A H Taught You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, you ready to get up out of here? Let's go. As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we will talk to you niggas next week. Bye. Bye. Y'all ain't sweat.